So we're going through Bruce Lee quotes here, and we'll just pick up where we left off and do, do some more. One quote, Bruce Lee says, the key to immortality is first li living a life worth remembering. Very few people really have that ambition. The orientation is more to be safe, make money, keep it simple like, or not, not simple as, keep it uh, simplistic almost, you know? You know, there's sometimes I've heard people who went, go and get past life readings and they want to think they had these great past lives. But they're not living their lives that way now. It's almost like they want to hear that they were some great person in a past incarnation and rest on their laurels and then just live a simple, mundane life now and say, well, see, I'm really great because <laughs> past life. But what he's saying here is live a life worth remembering. Go for it. Find truth within yourself and live true to that. Pursue that. Become great. You see? He says, if you always put limit on everything you do, physical or anything else, it will spread into your work and into your life. And my goodness, do we put limits upon ourselves. We have our rule books, we have our conventions, we have our belief systems, we have our indoctrinations, we have our notion of how life works or is supposed to work, or ideals about this is what I want, and it's all imposing limits on who it is you really are. You see? He says there are no limits. There are only plateaus, and you must not stay there. Don't we look for a plateau that's comfortable so we can stay there? Don't do it, he's saying. You must not stay there. You must go beyond them. Go beyond those plateaus, you see? In other words, use only that which works and take it from any place you can find it. That's beautiful, you know. It's about putting the pieces together for yourself, you know. All the different aspects of life don't come together on the surface of life. We live in a world of paradox. Things are assimilated and, and they come together within the depth of your being, not on the surface. So you have to put those pieces together for yourself. And, and the way you do that is you find what works. What really works. And live, live true to that. You see? Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do. In a nutshell, go for it. Find knowledge, real knowledge, within the depth of your being. It's not on the surface. You see? If you spend too much time thinking about a thing, you'll never get it done. <laughs> you know, so often we want to know what's around that next corner before we start. It's not going to happen. You, don't, you can't see around the corner until you get there. Put something out, see what comes back, adjust accordingly. Live your life. Live your life. Don't feel failure, Bruce Lee says. Not failure, but low aim is the crime. That's deep stuff. It's just simple, but profound. Aspire to be great. Being great is so much easier than people give it credit for. Just live your life and don't feel failure. Move forward in a direction that you believe in. Not intellectually, not because you've indoctrinated into it, but what you feel deep in your soul, deep in your heart, deep in your being. Live it. In, in great attempts, it is glorious even to fail. Beautiful. To know oneself, he says, is to study oneself in action with another person. Boy, that's, that is so true. We can have all these beautiful philosophies and all these beautiful understandings and all this profound knowledge and yada, yada, yada. But how do you function in the world? How do you interact with other people? Other people are a, a, a great um, catalyst for your own evolution. 
And if you, if you want to see where you're at, and I'm not talking about interacting with other people and hand-holding and swaying and, oh, it's all beautiful, and so now I'm interacting with other people uh, in, a, in a profound way. It's talking about life. It's talking about all aspects of life. How you interact with people in times of conflict, how you a interact with people in times of fear or challenge, difficulties, problems, happiness, harmony, all across the board. You can learn a tremendous amount, in, as he says, to know oneself. It's to study oneself in action with other people. Hmm? That's beautiful stuff, really. Okay, and lastly, he says, uh, I'm not in this, oh, this is nice. I'm not in this world to live up to your expectations. And you're not in this world to live up to mine. To thine own self be true, you see? But not the superficial self, the depth of your being, the place that lies beyond conditioning and programming and indoctrination. To really, truly act in harmony with your own true nature. That's what you need to do. So we could also add to this, he says, I'm not in this world to live up uh, to your expectations. You're not in this world to live up to your own expectations either if your expectations are based on superficial indoctrination. You see? Beautiful. All these quotes are, are wonderful. And uh, any person that is a genius is coming from that deeper level by definition. By definition. But they apply that genius, that state of freedom of awareness, that state of coming from the depth of your being spontaneously, courageously, naturally, organically, you see. Uh, whatever field they're living their life in, that's the characteristic of genius, and they bring it to that field, to that area of life. Mm -hmm.